Hello friends, it's Carla back today with a pretty Valentine wall hanging and I'm using some lovely products from Southern Ridge Trading Company. They are a company in BC that has stencils and wood veneer and chipboard and I'm going to walk you through how I created this. So we have a heart mix that's a set of chipboard hearts and I'll link all these products below and as well you can check the Southern Ridge uh, blog and they will have close-ups and links to all the products. We've got some connected hearts there, we've got an arrow stencil and we also have, these are some Christmas words but I'm going to use the word love. And we've got some pretty simple stories, vintage Valentine papers from that collection pack there. So I'm starting off with uh, doing a little Cricut rosette that I wanna put on the front of this. So I've grabbed some paper that I wanna use and I'm gonna cut that with my Cricut. And then I'm going to use some of this pretty paper to uh, cover the front of the large chipboard heart so I'm just tracing around it with a pencil and then I'll be able to fussy cut that out and glue it on so I'm just cutting a little bit inside the pencil line and then I'm going to glue it on I have some art glitter glue which is one of my favorite wet glues right now it goes on really finely which is great for little pieces as well um, with this little metal nozzle top that you can get and um, apply to the top of that we've got some crafty colors ink from craft and kimmy these are a hybrid ink and they're permanent when they're dry and i'm going around the edge of the heart to give it a little bit of color just with some blending foam and then I've got the rosette all cut out so I'm just removing it from my mat it's easier to uh, put your mat face down and peel it off of your papers and with this rosette it uses the scoring tool and uh, you can just score it scores all the pieces and then you glue the little tabs together so you end up with one long rosette uh, scored piece. This is Heart Rosette and I'll link the name of the file below so you can find it. I'm using my Cricut Maker and that quickly and easily cut that out. But you can use this file with any Cricut that you have. And then you simply just go back and forth and accordion fold it until the end and then I'll show you how to put that together. They turn out really really cute. I actually resized this from what it came in from Design Space and it's about two inches um, wide and that when you put it together you're getting about a four inch wide rosette. So you're gonna glue the edges into a circle so everything's connected and you have a band and then so the easiest thing to do is glue those ends together so you've got this band here that's all folded and just give it a minute to dry so that it's going to hold this glue dries really quickly and we're just i'm just setting that aside for a minute I'm taking the love sentiment now this one here I actually got directly from her shop um, when she was at a local event and this is a wood piece but the piece in the shop that you order online is actually chipboard so it's a little bit different texture but it's actually but it's uh, absolutely the same dimensions so I'm taking one of the cut apart four by three cards from Simple Stories and I just rounded the corners and then I've got some more of the Crafton Kimmy ink and I'm going to add a little bit of color onto the edge of this and I'm just keeping the ink colors coordinating with the soft colors that I'm going for and just taking that around the edge
and it just gives it some very subtle detail. I found this clip in my stash. It's a metal clip. So I added that to the front and now I'm going to position this rosette on this little piece of cardboard. You don't have to do it like this, but I find it's kind of easier. So you want to hold the rosette. It's a tiny bit tricky, but it's not hard. Um, and you're going to squeeze it into a circle and squeeze the middle part of those together. So I just used a glue gun so that it would dry fairly quickly. And I knew you weren't going to see the back of it. You could put a nice little punch circle if you were going to see the back, but I wasn't too worried about that. Now I'm taking one of the smaller hearts from that uh, mixed heart pack and I'm choosing one of the images on the 2x2 two two cut apart sheet that I want to add onto the front. And then I just hand cut that out and I'm going to glue that on top there. And then this will be the piece that I glue onto the top of the rosette. So even if it wasn't completely together in the center, you have that covered and you won't see the exact inner piece. And anything that's trimming, that's uh, sticking out around the edge, I can just trim off easily with some little scissors. And then I'm using this ink again to go around the edge to give a little bit of color. The chipboard just gives it a really nice stable base and I'm going to use my glue gun again because it's going to dry really quickly and just place that in the center. This is a nice embellishment as is. You could make a bunch of these and make a banner it would look really nice. Now I'm grabbing the arrow stencil and I love that the stencils are available in three different sizes. So there's usually a mini and then there's one that's about six inches and then a large 12 by 12. This is the medium size. And I'm just adding some gray ink. It's fairly soft so I'm going to end up uh, going over it with a little bit of glitter paste just to get it give it a little bit extra depth and texture. We've got the Nouveau Moonstone Glimmer Paste. This is really beautiful and it takes on whatever you have under it whatever ink color it can be clear or it uh, can take on a bit of a shimmer and it's almost iridescent it's very pretty so I'm just using a spatula or a little palette knife and just smoothing it over and scraping it clear across and then you can see it's subtle in the background but it gives it a really nice little shimmer and detail. And then you definitely want to rinse your palette knife and stencil off right away. So I'm using my glue gun again to glue on this metal embellishment with the card. And I'm going to press it on to the large chipboard heart. And then I'm adding my rosette. I'm really, really pleased with how the rosette turned out. Now I have some more ink. This one is pretty in pink. It's a very light pink. And I'm going to sponge color on top of the love sentiment. And if you have the chipboard version of this love, you just want to either uh, give it a white coat in the background with some paint if you wanted to do it lightly, or you can do it a little bit darker color to um, give it a darker red color. So I'm doing a bit of an ombre effect here with two different color pinks just because it is a little bit lighter in the background I'm able to do that and just by sponging back and forth I can get a really nice effect on this. I find just drying it with a heat gun because it has that slicker wood cover uh, helps it to dry a little quicker and we're going to Go ahead and uh, glue that on. Now we've got some pretty Inca gold paste. This is from Viva Decor and this is a silver color. This is a beautiful, really beautiful metallic paint paste. You can stencil with it. You can brush it on. It's uh, water-based. I'm using it to color just lightly 
this wooden key. This was actually uh, made by Southern Ridge, but it was in a Wild Whisper kit a long time ago. I don't think it's something that's in the store right now, but it was just something in my stash. And that silver just gives it a really nice shine. And then I'm going to take some ink and color the mini connector hearts. So you can see how lovely the chipboard, even though it's darker base, it takes the ink really beautifully. And I'm adding a little bit of that silver just around the edge to give it a little bit of shine. And we're gonna glue that on to the top of the rosette again. So in the light, you can just see it shimmer. I have some leftover hearts that were cut from the rosette and I decided to keep those. So I glued some on and I'm just using an old Wink of Stella brush pen that I actually refilled with a, just a clear shimmer spray. And I'm going to glue on some Studio Katya heart sequins. and just add a little bit of that silver around the edge. So it's just really subtle, but you can get a little bit of shine and shimmer, all those things that I think are lovely for Valentine's Day. So this makes a lovely wall hanging, and in the photos at the end, you'll be able to see that I've added a little uh, piece of ribbon so that I can hang it up on my wall. And it's just a lovely piece of home decor that brightens up your winter and um, makes you think about all the people in your life that you love and are special to you. And that's a look at the finished piece. So be sure to check out the Southern Ridge blog and the shop, and I'll link those both below and see what you can come up with for Valentine's Day. I hope that you have a wonderful week and thank you so much for stopping by. I'd love for you to like and subscribe. Thank you.